a lot of people, me and your fans, they looked at me and you know, my friend Andre the world, like, you know, guys that are just going to kind of come in and spice it up, but there's no way we should kind of just any part of this final. So, uh, it kind of feels good. A certain pleasure in, in proving people wrong, right? Yeah, it's like, I, I'm not going to make a big deal about it, but internally it feels good. I mean, if I listen okay. to everything everybody said about what I can't right, do, I, 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 I wouldn't be this far. I mean, I was told that I'm not even going to medal. I didn't have the experience. I was told that I didn't have a chin when I first turned pro. I was told a lot of things. People are still kind of going rock. I understand it's part of the game. It's, it's sticking it up my skin. And I realized that, hey, whether you're for me or against me, I got to do my job when those lights come on. You worked your way up to, to great status as a player all time. What do you think about Sal Alvarez versus Matthew Hatton being for a WBC title? You know, uh, I haven't seen enough of Hatton to really comment on the fight itself. I've seen Sal Alvarez. And he's, you know, it's for a title. Yeah, it's for a title. It's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. For a WBC title, which is one of the most prestigious belts in this world. And who am I to say that it shouldn't be a title? Do you feel like they're having an easy road? He like shit. said easy road. I just think it's a different road. I like the way I was able to win the title by being the top dog. That's how I want to come into the game. You know, sometimes guys like they were making belt and they're playing to do great things, so it's just how it's like. Would you say that there's probably more important things to worry about in this sport, like fighter safety, like mismatches that we're seeing, so the motors putting on, and putting guys in there that are suspended, that's what they feel? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mentioned this, uh, I did a radio show for Eastside Boxing, and you know, I mentioned the fact that you know, a lot of times we complain about how, how you know, boxing is dying off, there's no, no mainstream attention. A lot of times we're our worst enemies. You know, I mean, look at the fight with Shane Mosley and you know, Manny Pacquiao, who I think is probably the next, next best opponent, even though he's lost a few fights, than Floyd Mayweather. But what we'll do is we'll tear it down, we'll tear it down, we'll tear it down, and then we'll say that boxing is dying, but we're really killing it ourselves. So back to the Alvarez and Hatton situation, it is what it is. These guys are fighting for a title. Let's see what happens, and then whoever wins, let's hope that they're going to be great.